Now to some wild video out of Pasco County. Yeah, you see it there. A guy pulling a boat behind his vehicle in a very strange way. You're watching this. We're thinking the same thing. You are not the safest idea here, but there's an even better story behind the man who shot the video. The now's Nicole Grigg explains he's trying to get all the people watching just like you and me to see that video and to understand something that has nothing to do with a boat at all. It's one of those stories people like to call only in Florida. When you have to go fishing in Hudson. Only in Hudson, Florida <laughs> stories. Kenny Keegan was driving not far from State Route 52 on Sunday when he came across this. It was just crazy because he would stop at red lights and people would yell at him and he just didn't have a care in the world. He must have been going fishing and just didn't care. It looks like the boat is on some sort of small ramp, nearly sticking straight up with a rope wrapped around it. Kenny has no idea who the driver is, but after posting the video to Facebook, it started getting hundreds and hundreds of shares. Yeah, I think it's got a lot of views so far. That's when Kenny thought he could add more to the post, writing, when fishing is life and your friend needs a new heart. And I figured the more people that would see it, the more likely we were to be able to reach our goal um, for him to get a heart transplant. He's talking about his friend Thomas Rutledge in need of a heart transplant. The young father of six was diagnosed five years ago with congestive heart failure. Right now, he's getting by with a pacemaker, but only 5% of his heart is working. He's in and out of the hospital constantly, so we talked to him today through Facebook. But I didn't really have hope before, not too long ago, and now it's just... A lot of good friends come together and, and done a lot to, to make this possible. Those friends hoping a stranger watching this video will take a few extra seconds to click on the link above the boat video to learn more about Thomas's story. For The Now, I'm Nicole Grigg.